everyone, I am Connie Zach, co-owner of Sunlighten. Welcome to Sunlighten Spotlight. I'm so excited to interview our guest today. Our special guest is Catherine Arnston. She is CEO, founder, and chief scientific officer of Energy Bits, which is this amazing company that's dedicated to providing tiny bits of algae as nutrition. Uh, and I'm actually, full disclosure, I started taking some on Monday. So I have a lot of questions. I, I started taking them 12 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's perfect. <laughs> we have a brand new apprentice and we have a master. That's right. I'm a master of algae. <laughs> master of algae. I know. I have so many questions. So um, welcome, everyone. And welcome, Catherine, to Sunlight and Spotlight. Thank you. So great to be here because I've admired your work and your product for years as well. So, well, thank you. Well, let's start your story. Your backstory is so interesting. There's actually some very similar parallels to some Lighten's backstory as well. Uh, but I really want to hear about your sister and the journey you went on. And then how did you find algae? <laughs> I know. Well, it's quite a story because you don't turn into the algae, America's algae expert, or they, they call me the algae gal now. So oh, I love it. That's, <laughs> that's my new moniker. I love it. The algae, the algae gal. gal. I love well, it. I like it because it's welcoming. It's not too pretentious. Mm -hmm. um, you know, anyways, so, so um, I live in Boston, Massachusetts. I've been here 33 years. I'm actually Canadian by birth and all my education was done in Canada. All my family still in Canada, and I mention that because when I had a corporate career, um, I was briefly a, uh, for a few years I was a publisher of Interior Design Magazine. I'll go back about why that is important to what we're doing now. But uh, basically, uh, international business, nothing to do with nutrition, nothing to do with healing. And then 13 years ago, um, my younger sister in Canada developed breast cancer. Um, now I want to assure everybody first of all that she's fine. Um, and she's been cancer free for 11 years and we celebrate every year. Well, not recently with COVID, but right. at least not in person. So right. when she was preparing for her chemotherapy. Her oncologist, which is a cancer specialist, recommended that she change her diet to an alkaline diet. Now, they didn't tell her what an alkaline diet was or why it was good for her. By the way, her oncologist was a woman. And I, and I attribute that uh, partly to the reason why she was so um aware of the impact of nutrition on your health because it's not something your average oncologist here in america would suggest mm -hmm. um so anyway so she, when she got home the first call was to me her big sister who loves her who said you know what's an alkaline diet and i was like oh, I, don't, I have no idea <laughs> i'm, I'm miss mba doing international business but i'm also an excellent researcher and i can find out anything so i said hold tight i will find this out and we will go through this together so I just Googled alkaline diet, you still could. And it's basically foods that are loaded with chlorophyll and phytonutrients in particular, because those have been proven to build your immune system. Algae is the most alkaline food in the world, and it has the highest concentration of chlorophyll in the world, uh, 500 times more than arugula. So I'm, I'm giving a little spoiler there. So anyways, I found a bunch of foods for my sister to eat, ones that she should abandon. She did go through chemo and she did uh, get out of the, her breast cancer situation and is still cancer free. Now, in the process of helping her learn about this alkaline business, alkaline food, I ended up reading probably about 10 books. I went into the NIH library online and must have read about 100 papers on the importance of plant based nutrition mm -hmm. and the healing benefits of plants. And I thought, my gosh, you know, why is anybody talking about this? Now, you have to remember, this is 13 years ago. Nobody was talking about plant-based nutrition. Sort of, I'm sure, how with your story, when you started your company, nobody was talking about saunas. 23 so, years ago, nobody knew what infrared was, for sure. Yeah, exactly. Now it's mainstream, which is great. And we're thrilled about it. But you man, it's so, so when you're, a, you know, when I discovered this, I, I truly felt a responsibility that once I had been thrown into this uh, soup of knowledge, mm -hmm. <laughs> that, I got to do something about this. Now I had, again, no nutrition background, no science background, but I'm a very passionate person as you'll find during this conversation. So I gave up my corporate career. I went back to school. I went to the Institute for Integrative Nutrition where I got a one year health coaching certificate. I didn't have time to get another you know, degree. I already had two. So um, when I graduated, I taught 
I put my own curriculum together and I taught plant-based nutrition at corporations, hospitals for free, anywhere that anyone would basically let me in. And this is where my true epiphany happened that led me to algae. Because here's what was happening when I was giving these lectures about the importance of eating more vegetables. People said to me, and I'm sure your community will agree, hey, you're not telling me anything my, I haven't known forever. My mother has been trying to get me to eat vegetables since I was a kid. But the reality was it was too much work. Uh -huh. Let's face it, vegetables are heavy to carry home from the grocery store. They take up a lot of room in your fridge. They take a lot of time to clean, to cook, to eat. And the arguments at the dinner table are endless. Right. The kids, your husbands, men are notorious for not wanting to eat vegetables and French fries do not count. So I thought, okay, if I can't get people to eat more vegetables, and I've seen the science knowing the importance of the nutrients that are in them, I need to find something that's fast and easy and effortless that gives them the nutrition that they need without any work. Once again, I had no idea what I would do or how I would do it, but I went back to everything I'd found from my sister. And I just you know, lifted the hood and just did a deeper dive on what the various properties were. It took me months because nothing seemed to be working because I would, it had to be easy, right? And uh -huh. um, so anyways, finally I got to algae. It was like the 20th thing on my list. And that's when the miracle happened because first of all, turns out algae is the most alkaline food in the world. It's the most nutrient dense food in the world. Um, and that's not just my opinion. We have a quote from NASA that says, one gram of algae has the same nutrition as a thousand grams of fruits and vegetables. A th one to a thousand, I mean, that's crazy. All these micronutrients are uh -huh. the, sort of the algae are so, so tiny. You, you can put a million of them on the head of a pin. So, so anyway, so alkaline, nutrient dense, endorsed by the United Nations as the answer to world hunger because it has three times the amount of protein as anything else. It has three times the amount of protein as steak, chicken, fish, and it's a sustainable crop. So it's plant-based nutrients. Um, and they feel it. And they had a global conference on spirulina algae in 1974 and declared it then the answer to world hunger. So you don't have a, an agency like the United Nations endorsing something unless it's got some serious potential and serious science behind it. On top of that, it's been, it is the most studied food in the world. And, and two important things here, algae is food. Mm -hmm. It is not a supplement. It is uh, no different than kale or broccoli and grown in fresh water. We're going to talk about that, except it's got more nutrients, way, you know, like a thousand times more nutrients than broccoli or kale, but it is not a supplement. And I think when you start taking it, like as you know, again, I'm, I'm, what is that? Four days, Monday, Tuesday, four days in, um, you know, it's food. Like, so it's, it doesn't, I'm not a, you know, supplement person. I'm not a supplement expert. I, I, um, but if you were to take, you know, a, a vitamin C tablet, it, there's, there's just a, you can tell like if something is yeah. food. The absorption is is like it's 99% bioavailable because it's food. It interacts with your body because it's food. Uh, no stomach distress because it's food. Um, no interactions with other things because it's food. So it, it you know this whole. Oh, uh, so that's a good point. Sorry to interrupt you, but because somebody asked me because they know I've been taking it, and they said, um, "Do you notice any? I don't know the right word, but like." Um, gas isn't, but you know, sometimes like if you take, oil, yeah, right, yeah, if you take yeah. and then it comes back to yeah. you, <laughs> yeah. um, and so you can, you get to taste it twice. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> and so that's really interesting. I said, no, I, no, I haven't had any of that. And you never will. Um, I can't take fish oil. I tried for years um, and fish oil. We don't recommend fish oil because it's generally rancid by the time you get there. But it, um, you, you, most people burp it up and it's disgusting. I mean, you don't right. want to be in the middle of you know, your day and suddenly tasting fish oil. I tried every flavor I could find. Nothing made the difference. But and by the way, I remind people, where do you think the fish get the omega-3 from for the fish oil? Right. They get it from algae. So I tell people just you know, cut out the middleman, go to the original source, uh, and it's safer, cleaner, and unpro ours is unprocessed. We're one of the only companies that do not use high heat to dry our algae, so it's still a raw food. Um, so it's it's and there's no re what we call repeat. It, once it's in, it stays in. <laughs> once it's down, it stays down. So um, and also there's a lots of. Uh, supplements people are taking and they, th they need to take their C with something else or right. uh, to improve um, 
you know, the absorption. absorption. You never have to worry about that with algae because it has 40 vitamins and minerals in it. And it was created, it was the first life on earth, I'm getting ahead of myself, but uh, it was the first life on earth almost three and a half billion years ago. And it's a gift to us from mother nature. It has everything in it. I tell people algae is the orchestra. Supplements are like a grade three soloist. So put that in your head, you know, which would you rather listen to a grade three soloist or the Boston symphony? <laughs> I live in Boston. So I choose Boston symphony and that's algae because it's got everything you need in perfect combination, beautiful harmony, it facilitates the absorption of everything else that's in it and you don't need anything else. So the fact that it's alkaline, nutrient dense, endorsed by international agencies, studied, there's almost 100,000 studies documenting algae. There's about 60,000 on spirulina and about 40,000 on chlorella. That's a big number. Most companies say, well, we've got, you know, 100 studies or maybe if they're really lucky, 1,000. We're talking 100,000. There is nothing in the world that has been studied more than algae. And all these studies are the ones that's, that provide the support for the benefits I'm going to talk to you about. Things like reducing inflammation, re, um, helping with brain health, helping with gut health, uh, helping with um, nutritional gaps, uh, helping to reduce uh, chronic illnesses, heart disease, uh, uh, cancers, uh, the detox capabilities. It's all documented in science. And so I don't say anything. I don't have a PubMed um nih libraries document to to validate what i'm saying so um yeah. so that's pretty remarkable and then on top of that it's been used first of all it's been used for millions of years the egyptians used to wrap themselves in it um for healing purposes and beauty but uh, in asia they've been using it for 75 years the japanese do not leave their house every day without chlorella algae one is spirulina and the other one is chlorella uh, they're completely different, uh, but chlorella is the, if I had to choose between the two of them, I would probably always take chlorella because it still has protein. It still has 45 minutes minerals, but it has such healing properties for your wellness, for your detox. And just as an example, when the Fukushima disaster happened about 10 years ago, the global supply of chlorella was bought up within 24 hours because everybody in Asia knows it's the only thing that pulls out radiation. Even the United Nations used chlorella at Chernobyl to pull out the radiation of people so that were there. You're so, saying pulling out radiation. Let's just stop there for a second because I want to really understand because that's a, that's a bold you yeah. know, statement and it goes, I mean, that's what we're about is detoxification. Yeah. So help me like understand when you say it pulls out, you know, I know how infrared pulls out, you know, toxins, toxins. How does algae pull out? Well, it's just chlorella, and we'll get into this in greater okay. detail when okay. we start. Sorry, I'm getting ahead. Okay, I'll yeah, just stop. okay because the both of them have um, chlorophyll in them, which are very, which is very cleansing. Only chlorella is the detoxing agent. Is okay. the and it's because it has a hard cell wall that attaches to toxins. It's used by biological dentists to pull out mercury when people have their fillings uh, taken out. It's used by people to help with Lyme disease. Uh, it pulls out anything that's toxic, including lactic acid, alcohol, um, and you know all the heavy metals. And it's okay. been documented to do that. So, so here's something that's been used for, you know, safely for 75 years, not a single negative outcome, science-based with the largest massive library of science documenting its health benefits but of course scientists like to talk to other scientists and they don't they don't like to explain these complicated concepts to mere mortals like us um, so none of the science of algae ever has gotten through to the public and i learned that yeah and we're, i'm going to show you some pictures in a minute uh, about uh, showing you an algae farm so you can truly see that it is a vegetable crop and when you dry it into a powder and then you and press it as they do in asia and we, uh, we we do into tiny tablets that look like this mm -hmm. you can swallow you can chew them too but you can swallow these and each one of these as i'm going to tell you in a minute has the same nutrition as an entire plate of vegetables so so now you're getting all of the nutrients that you need for the day, I mean, it took two or three or five or 10 or, you know, our NHL players take 75 before a game. And I have like about 100 a day, um, but it's effortless. This was what I was looking for, finding something that was nutrient dense, chlorophyll rich, 
I had all the nutrients that our bodies need because our bodies are very fine tuned pieces of equipment. Mm -hmm. You know, people know more about their cell phone than their <laughs> own bodies and they, and yet, you know, to charge your phone every night, but if you don't charge your body and your cells with the nutrients it needs to perform, uh, your, your battery life is going to be pretty short. And, and even before it's over, you'll, fat you'll suffer from all kinds of symptoms like fatigue and brain fog and bad acne and bad digestion and poor sleep and all of that can be uh, eliminated if you give your body two things well you give your body what the nutrients it needs to perform optimally for you and trust me it wants to and b you get rid of the toxins that shouldn't be there and those are the two main topics that i want to make sure people understand because spirulina is the one that really nourishes you with the, all the uh, vitamins and minerals, including, you know, the omega-3, uh, you know, some people take fish oil, and chlorella is the one that builds your immune system and pulls out toxins. This, we have spirulina, we call ours um, energy bits because it's energizing and nourishing, and we call our chlorella um, recovery bits because it pulls out toxins and builds your immune system. Sorry, there's the, that's what they yeah. So, um, so I, I was, uh, when I saw the science, I saw that it's been used I saw international agencies endorsing it. I saw how easy it could be for people uh, to and, and safe. I forgot to mention how safe. I mean, they give the in Japan, if babies can't digest mother's breast milk and would die, they've tried everything. The only thing that keeps them alive is the algae in in, um, in water. And it turns out that the certainly the spirulina's nutritional profile is virtually identical to mother's breast milk, and I'm the one that discovered that. Same aminos, same proportions. Um, so it's safe for ch babies, pets, children, teenagers, adults. It is unbelievable. And yet, and the qual so, so, but nobody in America really knows about it. Actually, nobody really outside of Asia really knows about it because 99% of it is grown in Asia. So if you don't grow up with something, mm -hmm. how are you going to learn about it? You know, I tell people, well, you know, algae isn't new. It's just new to you. Right. <laughs> And when you think about it, chia seed, matcha, kiwa, CBD, uh, collagen, these are all things that have been used for centuries in other indigenous countries. And it took some brave soul or, you know, infrared light to help start the education process to mm -hmm. help people here understand what it is. And, and you know what it's like to start that process because nobody believes you at first. They call you all sorts of names and, and blah, blah, blah. But I was determined because I saw what my, how my sister healed when she had the benefit of the correct nutrition, plant-based nutrition in her body. And I've seen, you know, by the way, the Japanese who take chlorella every day, as I mentioned, they have are known for having the lowest cancer rates, the best longevity and great skin and hair. And I figure, hey, why should they be the only ones benefiting from all of the great nutrients um, that uh, that uh, and, and outcomes from algae? Um, so I decided I needed to educate people here. I needed to brand it properly, package it properly, so it was welcoming. You know, I design all the can all, all of our packaging, and I do the it. Packaging is great. Um, and this is you know this is sort of harkens back to my days in the interior design industry. I'm just a very creative person, but I had no idea I could. I could design packaging, but I taught myself. Um, how, I did you figure, how, how did you figure out how to put them in little, in the little bits? Is or was there another product that was on the market that was? Similar? That's how they use it in Asia. Um, the, the, and the company that grows it for us is in Taiwan because they have the highest, um, hardest certifications for growing algae. Because okay. algae is almost as big as the beef industry is here. This is what people they have a really hard time wrapping their heads around it because they're so unfamiliar with it. And, and as I started to say, it's because we didn't grow up with it. You know, when I lived in British Columbia in Canada, um, you would see trucks driving by with big logs on the way to the mill to make paper. And in the, if you live in the Midwest, you would see trucks driving by with bales of hay on the way to, or, or wheat on the way to get, make, be made into bread or whatever. And I live in Boston and Dunkin Donuts is based here, which is, you know, I see trucks with Dunkin Donuts going by. So it's just normal. You, you just are familiar with those sorts of things, but no algae because it's not grown here. But just to show you how algae is finally entering the vernacular here in 2019, the White House passed the very first 
LG Agricultural Act as part of the Farm Bill because they have realized, even they have realized, it's the most nutrient dense food in the world, the most sustainable crop in the world, and virtually none of it is grown here. So just like the government gives farmers to growing corn or wheat or uh, all those other, unfortunately, useless food crops, um, grants, that now they're going to start giving people, farmers, grants to grow algae here. So um, that's why I tell people, you know, you can't show me a supplement farm, but I can show you an algae farm. I mean, here's a picture of, of a, I mean, th this is spirulina and it's very shallow, fresh water. And then, and then we air dry it into a powder like that and then uh -huh. press it into press powder. It. But yeah, the delivery mechanism is fantastic. I mean, it's really what once I, you know, learned that I could swallow it, I was trying to, to chew it and um, which is more difficult for me. Yeah, well, but most the swallowing yeah. right, is easy and there's they're tiny, you know, and so I do want to hear I I do want, want to hear a, about your dosing more because I'm, yes. I'm curious to understand because it said on the package that you can take 30 tablets a day. Um, and so I wanted to understand, is that something that I should be like if listeners are, well, you know, they want to get, you know, recovery beds or energy beds and they start doing it. I want to better understand the science of, because I started just, I just took the first day, I just took um, three to four because that's what it said. And then I didn't realize it was like three to four, three to four times a day. I'm like, oh, okay. So um, what, can you talk a little bit about dosing? I want to talk about everything, but I just want to make yeah. sure I get, I get in the practical stuff before we have to wrap up. Yes, absolutely. So because algae is food, think about it. You know, some people will have an egg for breakfast and they're full. Some people need four eggs. Some people, you know, need four eggs, big side of bacon, you know, toast and, and, and whatever. And so it's really depends on your own, um, but metabolic needs, okay. the lifestyle that you lead, the age, uh, you, um, what your diet is already, in, and why you're using it. So, okay. so we've had people who are anemic, uh, so very low in iron, very, very tired, had one or two tablets, and they would write us with in caps, OMG, I had the best day of my life. I had so much energy. I redecorated my living room, painted my kitchen and blah, 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 blah. Because this is, and this wasn't a real example of a woman who was so anemic. So um, on the other hand, uh, uh, if you are using the spirulina, and we recommend spirulina more than chlorella as a meal replacement because it has the higher protein and has the higher essential fatty acids, which are very satisfying for your hunger. So if you're using it for intermittent fasting or as a meal replacement, you're gonna probably need closer to five or 10 or 15 to get that satiety that will carry you for a couple of hours. Now there's only one calorie per tablet, yet there's still 64% protein and 40 vitamins and minerals. So um, uh, it's very nourishing. And we're, we'll, again, we'll get into some details about spirulina. Spirulina is technically a bacteria, so there's no cellulose wall for your body to break down for absorption. So it gets into your bloodstream almost instantly. Um, and most people do swallow them because they are a chewy, tough, earthy flavor to mm -hmm. get used to, but you could also put them in your smoothie, but. Right, yeah, I'm looking forward, that's on my list yeah. to do so, as well. I just, I started with the chlorophyll or the, no, the chlorella, chlorella yeah. first, cause I didn't want to, I just wanted to learn, you know, how yeah. my body, um, and, and I feel, I mean, I feel great. I just didn't know if, if I should, as a healthy person who proactively, you know, I use my sunlight and sauna every day. I, um, I detox. I mean, I'm, I, I am like very, very healthy. I'm, yeah. I, I just want to be proactive. Yeah. Right. And exactly. I, I have heard in the past about, um, about this, like conceptually. So when, when this came, you know, um, when I found out more about you and I'm like, oh my gosh, this has been on my list. So, it was like perfect timing. Yeah. Um, so anyway, back to the dosing. Like, is yeah. it? Do you do you? Is there a range? Like, you say, up to thirty, or like try yeah. to start off with X and then see how your body feels. Yeah. So what happened when I first started the company? You know, um, you know, I was, you know, by myself literally for the first four years doing all the science research or something. You know, getting started. I would carry these around with me in my. Uh, knapsack and sell uh, one bag here and one bag there to my friends or whatever. And and uh, uh, I had a lot of young 
um, millennials who just recent graduates uh, working with me and a lot of them were runners. And so they started telling their running friends about the product who told other running people who were bloggers. And eventually we started getting a lot of coverage, like oh, probably about 800 articles from running bloggers. And then from the running bloggers, the triathletes found out about us and the cyclists. And then we got into the Olympic community. So we became a sports nutrition company for literally for about four years. And these are elite athletes. And so when we were still trying to figure out the dosage amount, we started with, you know, giving them five spirulina before their workout and five chlorella afterwards, and they didn't feel anything. So we upped it to 10, nothing, 15, still nothing, 20. It wasn't until we got to 30 tablets okay. that they consistently, 100% of the time, felt the imp improved focus and energy that they got from the spirulina. And they consistently felt the improvement in their muscle um, and uh, um, pain the next day because it pulls out lactic acid. So that's how we originally got to 30. It was okay. after literally about a year and a half of experimenting, but they were with elite athletes. And so we kept the 30, number, 30 tablets as sort of our dosage, recommended dosage for you know, about three or four years. And then um, we started getting invited to functional medicine and chiropractic shows because um, they'd heard about us and they knew a little, fortunately they knew a little bit about the science of algae. So, so we started, we sort of started doing that kind of marketing and the athlete efforts kind of slowly dissipated as we started gathering speed in the um, sort of, uh, I hate to call it alternative because in my mind, it's really the original <laughs> medical community. And, um, but with them, now we're dealing with consumers and we're generally dealing with consumers who aren't terribly healthy because that's why they're going to a functional medicine or a chiropractor or a nutritionist. So, and they were just aghast at the thought of taking 30 tablets. And also we realized they didn't need 30 tablets to get started because they were usually so nutrient deprived that even if, especially if you're an elderly person who's eating white mushy stuff, and let's face it, most of them do, um, yeah, it's a sad state, but um, even two or three tablets, remember each one of these tablets has the same nutrition as an entire plate of vegetables. Mm -hmm. So we're giving them even with one tablet more nutrition than they probably had in the last month. Right. So, so we, we, we dialed it back because we we're, I'm so eager to make this doable for people. Uh, the fact that they can swallow them makes it very easy. By the way, they never go bad. That was the other thing I forgot to mention about the problem with vegetables is like, you know, and I was doing the same thing. Half the time I was throwing out half of my vegetables, my arugula was going yellow after day three. Right. And it's a waste. The reason why the vegetables are going bad and the arugula is going yellow is that there's not much nutrition in them in the first place right. because there's nothing left in the soil. We have overcropped our poor soil so much that there's no minerals. And so when there's no minerals, there's nothing for the plant to pull up, even if you're eating organic. Um, and also the, the you know, ozone layer is so damaged, they're doing studies and finding that plants have more sugar in them these days, but and fewer nutrients. So even if you are eating your vegetables daily and using pretty much organic, you still are not getting the nutrition that your body needs. And let's not forget the fact that and I'm one of them, a lot of vegetables cause gastric distress particularly as you get older because you just don't have the same, same enzymes and this is a huge issue well yeah. guess what there's no fiber in spirulina because it's technically a bacteria that's why it is so safe for newborns your grandparents your pets it just gets absorbed almost instantly and gives you all the nourishment that you need so so back to the dosage yeah. Yeah, yes. hold on a second. We're about to run out of time. So I want to make sure I get, we're um, getting close to our our, our um, final. So I want to get to some really key things to make sure the listeners understand. So number one, um, we get a lot of, you know, questions. I'm sure there's going to be people watching, knowing our audience about FDA. As, have you have you gone this route? Is this FDA approved? Like, what is your thought on that? If you could comment yeah. real quickly well, on that. Well, yeah, people don't understand. The FDA doesn't approve anything to do with food or supplements. They only approve drugs. What they do is they provide guidance and guidelines on how you have to package it. So yes, we meet all of the FDA packaging guidelines, but you'll you'll see that, and we do it correctly, I'm not sure if this will show up or not, 
we we have a nutrition panel on ours yes because it's food right. everybody else who sells spirulina or, or chlorella calls it a supplement because they haven't done their research even the fda considers algae food because it's an ingredient in other foods it has what's called grass certification which stands for that um generally recognized as safe that's what gras stands for and they only give it to food uh, so there's no question that algae is food and i showed you an algae farm but um i'm sorry i didn't know we had such a short i thought we had a longer time frame so i i want to just dwell a little bit on the detox uh capability before, we, before we wrap that up. was my next question so perfect yeah. So chlorella is the algae that detoxes you. And here's why. It has the highest concentration of chlorophyll in the world, um, which is cleansing, not detoxing. But just to show you the importance of chlorophyll, here's the chemical, comp chemical composition of your, of, of your blood. And this is the chemical composition of chlorophyll. See that they're virtually identical. The only difference is that your blood has iron in the middle and chlorophyll has magnesium. Otherwise, they are identical. Chlorophyll builds your blood. And when you have healthy blood, you're going to have a healthy body, healthy brain, healthy gut, healthy everything. But of course, there's almost no chlorophyll in our in our vegetables anymore. But the key part about chlorella being a detoxing agent is because it has the hardest cell wall in the plant kingdom. Spirulina has none, which is why it gets absorbed so quickly. Chlorella has the hardest. And it's that hard cell wall that attaches to toxins. Binds. Red, mercury binds it radiation doesn't matter what it is now remember we talked about dosage for spirulina um you know you could start with two or three get five or ten is better but you could take you know nhl players put 75 in their smoothie before a game for the energy um so there's no upper limit and same with chlorella um you you could take five or ten a day for your wellness benefits there's one tablet to compare mm -hmm. to um but if you want detox benefits you need 20 to 30 and here's why the it if you don't have that much chlorella in your system it will not pull out the toxins okay. it will boost your immune system and um chlor uh, that's the system. value of that's the value of the higher number so that's really yes. great to know for people yes so, i'm positive they're gonna want they're gonna want this you know after watching this for sure and so one another one of my questions is is how you know for the listeners how do they get um the energy bits or the yes. recovery bits yes well we sell them in uh, large bags of a thousand tablets on our website energybits.com we just added the canisters um and uh so energybits.com is where you can buy the larger quantities and we have a 20 percent discount code sunlighten Yay! so uh, that works on everything all the time at our on our website now if you're not ready for a full bag or we also sell them in single in boxes of single servings so there's 30 of these uh, oh, okay. so, um, so these are really handy we call these actually travel pouches so there's 30 tablets in here so you can toss it in your handbag or your gym bag um, but if you're not ready for a, a, a full bag or box of a thousand tablets I'm looking for something um, you can buy single pouches on Amazon for five dollars but I want to show you one thing um, sorry kind of what, I, I, while you're doing that I'll remind people um, that not only we have the 20% off the, um, on for the energy bits and recovery bits and any product on energybits.com, but we also, Sunlighten is offering, uh, if you mention Catherine Arnston, um, you can get up to $600 off um, with our partnership. So definitely right. worth, and, and let me let me tell you, like Sunlighten and this product together, I am sure, um, you know, is a wonderful stacking for detox. Yes. Yes, perfectly. Because if you're going to be in the sauna and, and you're releasing all those toxins, you want to pull them out. Right. So uh, we recommend you take both the spirulina and the chlorella before your uh, sauna, because the spirulina um, is a what's called a vasodilator. It opens up the blood vessels. So so now um, there, there's um, this, the nutrients can flow around better because of the vi vasodilation, and then the chlorella will pull out the toxins. Um, there, it really works beautifully um, together with the with the, the sunlight and sauna. But I want to show you this. Yes, because, that's um, here's a bag of our uh, thousand tablets, and um, and they're $125 for a bag. Now I don't want people to have sticker shock because I want you to know. Remember, I referenced that quote from NASA that said one gram of algae has the same nutrition as a thousand grams 
of fruits and vegetables. So I did the math uh, based on the weight of our bag, and it has the equivalent nutrition as 551 pounds of vegetables. Oh, wow. At $3 a pound, if you're buying organic, that's like $1,500. So the hundred, it puts the context, the, you know, the price of the bag in context because you're getting equivalent nutrition of 551 pounds of vegetables that you didn't have to carry home, clean, cook, or eat, or fight with your kids about. Right, so, right. Uh, and they last, you said they, they last forever. So, I mean, you can have them, you know, at any time, which is awesome. So yeah. you, you have to worry about it, it's spoiling or going away. You exactly. Can, you know, it's, yeah. I call it efficient nutrition. And it's also, I also call it, um, uh, your, really, it's health insurance because it will give your body, your cells at the cellular level, the, the nutrients they need to, so they can perform. And, um, you know, I remind people, we take a shower on the outside of our body every day. And when you take chlorella every day, it's like giving your body a shower from the inside because it's not just toxins that we're exposed to outside, chemicals on our food, chemicals in our air, chemicals in our clothing, our cosmetics. But listen, did you know, because your body's constantly re regenerating itself, I recently read that every day we have 30 trillion cells in our bodies that die. And if you don't clear out those dead cells, they become toxic. They gather in your lymphatic uh, nodes, which uh, cause them to gather, attract bacteria, which causes your system to become more acidic, which reduces oxygen, which causes your mitochondria to be less functional, which causes your cells to get, you know, deteriorate. So it's a slippery slope. So, uh, you know, it's unfortunate. Uh, well, it's not unfortunate. It's actually fortunate that we have chlorella because it's the answer to so much. Um, and uh, it's so simple. Just swallow them. Uh, it chlorella is. actually tastes okay with, uh, I eat it with spir um, uh, pistachio nuts or, or um, you know, macadamia nuts. It actually can be a really great snack. And if nothing else, Definitely take your chlorella either uh, before and after a sauna and definitely before you go to bed. And here's why, because your body goes through a detox repair cycle while you're sleeping. Yes. So, so uh, with so much chlorophyll and pulling out the toxins because the hard cell wall, it also has the highest RNA and DNA in the world. Um, which I'll add that to my regimen yes. you know, tonight. Well, I'll do it before I go to bed because I haven't been, I haven't been doing that. I have been following you know, and taking it every, you know, couple hours. And, um, yeah. you know, so I'm really, really fascinated with this. And um, I so appreciate our partnership. I so appreciate all Thank of you. your information. This is um, enlightening to say the least. You enlightening, know? the sun lightning. <laughs> right, right. I mean, it's like, it makes perfect sense. It's the algae lightning. <laughs> right. It makes perfect sense to me. And like you said, it's a food. And if you can get all those nutrients in a small little, you know, piece um, that you can easily take and you can take with you. I mean, absolutely. Why right. right. Why, exactly. Why not? That's what that was my thought. I'm like, why not? This yeah. is awesome. So I can't wait to report back to you, you know, um, once I've been using it and, and stacking it, you know, with my son and doing it before bed and subscribing to all your you know, your recommendations. I really appreciate, again, Catherine Arnston with Energy Bits, um, yeah. the CEO, founder, and chief <laughs> scientific officer. And if she hasn't Thank shown you. you that she is a master of science, I mean, <laughs> my goodness, nothing will. She's the algae gal. And the algae gal, yeah. <laughs> have so much information. We need to do this again. Yes. So that's my lesson from this is, you know, let's find a time to be able to to, um, you know, further and deepen the conversation and go deeper into all of the different things. You bet. So, thank all you right. so much. Thank you, Connie. And thank you for what you do. So we're all out there trying to make people healthier. That's <laughs> right. We want everybody to do more of what they love with the people yeah. they love to live fully and feel better. Thank yeah. you for joining us on Light and Spotlight. All right. Thank you. Take care. <laughs>